A bicycle is a wonderful investment. It not only gets you from point A to point B, it provides a substantial cardiovascular workout. Xander. And my name's Elizabeth. Over the next few minutes, we're going to have some fun and talk about some pretty important stuff. Some of it you've heard before, but it never hurts to hear it again. And again. And again. So here we go. This is about you, your bike, and the rules of the road. Because we want you to bike safe and bike smart. Bike, bike safe, bike, bike smart. smart. As we're on the subject of smart, let's start with your head. Good idea. Your head is where your brain lives, and you need your brain for a lot of things. Like thinking and moving around. Did you know that your brain is made up of billions of nerve cells that are constantly sending and receiving messages from your eyes, your muscles, and other parts of your body? And all it takes is a brain injury, and you get the idea. Did you know that just falling off your bike is enough to get a serious brain injury? So play it safe. Wear your helmet every time you ride. It can reduce the risk of head injury by up to 85%. And that's a lot. The helmet should be snug on your head and sit flat. The strap should form a V under your ear and the chin strap should also be snug. Two fingers should fit in between your eyebrow and your helmet. Also, make sure your helmet meets safety standards. Look for a sticker that says CPSC. This stands for the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Bike safe, bike smart. Now that your head and brain are protected, we can talk about how to ride safely. Did you know that bikes are considered vehicles? Meaning, you have to follow the same rules as someone driving a car. And why do we have rules? To keep us safe and to keep things moving smoothly. That means, when you ride in the street, ride in a straight line with traffic on the right side of the road. Riding against traffic is dangerous. It puts you where the driver of a car isn't expecting you. Meaning, it might turn in front of you, or worse, into you. And you know what that means. Ouch! And if you're riding with friends, always ride single file. And here's something else to remember. Always obey traffic lights and signs, and pay attention to lane markings. When you see one of these, stop. When you see one of these, yield. Traffic might be coming from one side or the other. Now, since your bike doesn't come with turn signals, use your hands. But always check for traffic before you turn. Do this to turn left, this to turn right. Also, some states allow you to do this to turn right, and do this to stop. Did you know that 70% of car bicycle crashes happen at driveways? or intersections. So before you enter a street, stop, look left, right, then left again, and use caution at intersections. Be careful. Don't be a statistic. Hey, now a word about staying alert. If you're riding your bike, Xander. Xander. Hey. <laughs> If you're riding your bike, leave your headphones at home or stick them in a backpack because if you put them on your head, you won't be able to hear the traffic around you. 
Bike safe, bike smart. Here are a few other things to remember to make your next ride a safe one. Communicate with motorists by making eye contact or waving. That way both of you know you can see each other. Don't swerve in and out of parked cars and always ride far enough away to avoid the unexpected. Like eating a car door. Always check behind you before turning or changing lanes. Be courteous to pedestrians. Keep your eyes open for things on the road like litter, potholes, gravel, railroad tracks, and storm grates. None of these things is very bike friendly. They can make you crash. Bike, bike safe, bike, bike smart. smart. Can you see me? How about me? It's more difficult to ride at night, but if you have to, make sure you can be seen. Check this out. I'm wearing white, but it's not enough because I'm still difficult to see. No matter what time of day you ride, always wear bright clothing. But at night, you really need to wear reflective or retro-reflective gear. If you don't have any, buy some retro-reflective tape and put it on your shoes, your jacket, and your helmet. It helps reflect light back to the driver of a car. Make sure your bike has reflectors. And you need a headlight and a taillight. That's the best way to get noticed in the dark. And it's the law. Remember, the sooner a driver can see you and recognize you, the sooner they can react. Bike safe, bike, bike smart. smart. All the stuff we talked about today is common sense. But you still need to think. Be courteous. And be predictable by always riding in a straight line. Wear a helmet. And follow the rules of the road. Ride with traffic on the right side of the road. Ride single file. Away traffic lights and traffic signs. Check behind you before turning. Use proper hand signals. Stop, look left, right, then left again before entering a street. And use caution at an intersection. Make eye contact with other drivers. Be careful around parked cars. And watch for objects in your path. And at night, be seen to be safe. Never assume that motorists or pedestrians will see you. Remember, bikes are smaller than cars. And if there's a crash between the two, any guesses who will win? That's all the time we have. So remember these four words. Bike, bike safe, bike, bike smart. smart.